Hey guys, I just want to talk to you real quick about a very cheap and easy solution that I came up with for a very big problem. Um, I'm sure like most of you, uh, after loading the rear of my Jeep down with, you know, roof rack, rooftop tent, uh, fuel, water, refrigerators, you know, all the gear that we carry when we're out and about, I was experiencing a lot of sag in the rear of my Jeep, even with these 3.5 inch rock crawler springs. So what I did was I added this airbag kit by Airlift. It's their Airlift 1000 system and it's very simple yet very effective. And it basically solved the problem that I was getting of rear sag and returned my Jeep back to its proper ride height. Airlift sells a lot of different versions for this kit for pretty much any uh, you know light to heavy duty vehicle that you can imagine. I think this kit actually was intended for the front of an F-350, I want to say. If you're not sure what to use for your application, you can actually call Airlift up and they will tell you what kit you need for the inside dimensions of your springs. The installation of these airbags is generally pretty easy. If you still have your factory springs, it's uh, as simple as just shoving this airbag through the coils and then running a line up through the top, as you can see here. Now the kit comes with two Schrader valves and enough line that you can either run a valve for each bag independently. But what I went ahead and did was I got this T, which Airlift also sells, and then I ran it to one single line, which I decided to mount on the side of my Jeep over here. So the kit comes with two of these little bolt-on Schrader valves. You can see that I mounted one right here, just in front of the rear wheel well, um, on one of these little holes that are pre-existing in the pinch seam. And then it just bolts in place. There's a little clip that holds the line. And then I ran the line just over the rear cross member. And it's a very easy way using my onboard air to fill these bags up, which takes just a few seconds because they really don't hold that big a volume of air for what they do. So real quick, I want to show you just how easy and quick you can fill these bags and get on your way. Keep in mind, I am using an ARB uh, twin compressor, so it might be a little bit faster than some systems. But let's check our pressure real quick. And that actually has us at 43 PSI, which is a little bit much. I believe the max pressure for this system is 35 PSI. And the lowest pressure you want to run is 5 PSI if you're not carrying a load. Uh, just so the bags don't get pinched when the coils compress. But there we are. You can see it gives about an inch of gain in the rear when the Jeep is fully loaded and the suspension is compressed. So it gets me back up to perfect ride height and it also stiffens things up a lot. And I don't get a lot of the left to right sway that I would normally get if I didn't have the bags installed. Anyways guys, I hope you found this video useful. For the price point of $100, I really think this system is kind of hard to beat. I know. A new set of coils would have run me at least a couple hundred dollars and I really like that I can use this when I need it and when I don't, you know, it just either sits in place or I can remove the bags altogether and go rock crawl or do whatever I want. Um, down below I'll include links for the bags that I used with these 3.5 inch rock crawler springs. I'll also include a link to the system for the uh, factory JK coils and I'll also include a link to the factory JL coils if I can find it. All right, as always, if you like what you see, go ahead and give this video a like, hit the notification bell and feel free to subscribe. You guys take it easy.